I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs 6,000 times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a villager, translate, and we got squirrel. For this one, I think I'm going to make Sandy from Spongebob. Let's color her body white, and we'll make her head smaller. Next, let's extend out her cheeks, and we'll color her head. Now let's give her some eyes, and we'll add her mouth. Next, let's draw her squirrel teeth, and we'll give her a nose. Next, let's add her ears, and we'll add her helmet. Now let's draw the flower on her helmet, and we'll draw the acorn on her shirt. Now let's give her a tail, and finally we'll add her shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Honestly, that looks pretty good. I'm surprised nothing went wrong. Her helmet is a little small, but honestly, she looks really good. Let's see a baby Sandy. Definitely a better size for a squirrel. Let's spawn an army of Sandys. And let's see if they can beat a zombie villager. I don't think Sandy really wants to fight it. Even though they ran away, the Sandys still won the fight. Let's bring Sandy to her home underwater. Wait, how is she drowning? She has her helmet on. I guess squirrels don't belong underwater. Alright, I'm going to give Sandy a 9 out of 10. She turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an iron golem. Translating, and we got egg. For this one, I'm going to make Dr. Eggman. Let's extend out his body, and we'll make his legs a bit smaller. Now let's color his shirt red, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's color in his head, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth, and a nose. Now let's add his mustache, and we'll add the goggles on his forehead. Now let's give him some gloves, and we'll add some extra details to his shirt. Now let's extend his shirt down a bit, and finally we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think we're done, let's see him in game. Honestly, he turned out really good. Nothing is broken on him too, what is going on? Dr. Eggman vs. Tails, who will win? Okay, I don't think they fight. Let's see if Dr. Eggman can stop this zombie from eating Sandy. Okay, that was too fast. Now let's see if Dr. Eggman is strong enough to beat the Warden. Okay, Dr. Eggman isn't that strong. Let's spawn an army of Dr. Eggmans. Now let's see if this army can beat the Warden. Okay, they're pushing him in the water. Dang, the Warden is going crazy. Okay, the Warden just forgot how to hit them. Alright, I'm going to give Dr. Eggman a 9 out of 10. I think he looks really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. What will we get? And we got Alien. For this one, I think I'll make the Alien from Toy Story. Let's shrink his body, and we'll remove his back legs. Now let's move his head, and we'll color his body blue. Now let's color his head green, and we'll give him three eyes. Now let's add his mouth, and we'll give him some ears, and we'll also add the thing on his head. Now let's draw his belt, and we'll add the logo on his shirt. Next, let's give him some arms, and we'll add his fingers. Now finally, we'll add his shoes. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Okay, surprisingly, this actually worked. His body is a little bit glitchy, but I think he turned out really good. Now let's see if the baby is broken. Okay, we'll just pretend that this doesn't exist. Like, why is his head floating? Let's spawn an army of aliens, and now let's see them chase me. This is kind of scary, they're moving fast. What if I give them speed too? Oh my god, they're way too fast, I'm going to get abducted. This is way too cursed, Mojang please never add this. To be fair, I don't know why they would. Alright, I'm going to give the alien a 10 out of 10, he was really funny. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a frog. Translate, and we got alphabet. For this one, I think I'm going to make F from alphabet lore. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll drag this up. Now let's color him black, and we'll add another line facing horizontal. Now let's copy this down, and we'll give him some teeth. Now let's add his eye, and we'll rotate his other eye. Now I think I'm going to make his eyelids a bit bigger, and I think we're done. Let's see this in game. Okay, that actually looks kinda good. He doesn't even look too bad when he's moving. Even his jumping doesn't look that bad. Let's see if F can swim. Oh, he's swimming fast. Let's watch F eat the slime. Okay, he trickshotted him. Now let's spawn an army of Fs. They all keep jumping. Now let's spawn more slimes and watch them eat them. Why does it always spawn big slimes? Okay, it doesn't look that cool when they eat them. Alright, I'm going to give F a 10 out of 10. He turned out really good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a ghast. Translating, and we got door. For this one, I'll make ambush from Roblox doors. Let's remove all the legs, and we'll shrink down his body. Now let's shape his body a little bit, and we'll color him white, and we'll give him some eyes, and a mouth. Next, we'll add his teeth, and we'll add some green spots to his face. Now we'll color the bottom of him darker green, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, he's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god, this is scary. He keeps coming towards me. Let's go find ambush in the nether. Okay, I don't see any ambushes flying around in here. Honestly, I think this is better than the actual ghast. Let's spawn a baby ambush. Okay, why did I think there's a baby ghast? 
Let's spawn an army of ambushes. Okay, this is way too many. If I saw this, I would never go to the nether again. Let's try to fight the ambush army. Oh, I actually killed one. Okay, I'm literally just stuck in this cave. All right, I'm going to give ambush a 9 out of 10. He was very scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. What will we get? And we got adventure. For this one, I'm going to make Finn from Adventure Time. Let's shrink his head, and we'll color it white. Now let's color his shirt blue, and we'll color his legs darker blue. Next, let's draw his face, and we'll give him some eyes, and a little smile. Now let's add his ears, and we'll color his arms. Next, let's color his legs as well, and we'll give him some shoes. Now let's add his backpack, and we'll color it green. And finally, let's add some straps. And I think we're done. Let's see him in game. Oh, we spawned in an amethyst cave. Honestly, this actually looks pretty good. Somehow, I'm pretty sure there still hasn't been a broken mob this entire video. Let's spawn an army of fins. Okay, I can't take him seriously with the bow. He just doesn't look hostile. Let's see if the fin army can beat Dr. Eggman. Of course, they're all shooting each other. Okay, Dr. Eggman is taking some damage, but will it be enough to kill him? Dang, the fin army actually won. I guess I underestimated their bow skills. Alright, I'm going to give Finn a 9 out of 10. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a silverfish. Translate. And we got mushroom. For this one, I think I'll make a Goomba. Let's delete all this stuff, and we'll give him a few legs. Now let's color his legs brown, and we'll color his stem a lighter brown. Now let's add his head, and we'll make it curve up a little bit. Now let's give him some eyes, and we will add his angry eyebrows. Next, let's give him a mouth, and finally we'll add a few teeth. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Wait, where did he go? Oh yeah, silverfish like to go into the stone. Okay, he doesn't look too bad. He doesn't really have a walking animation, but I guess that's okay. I think he really likes this wall. I'm trying to stomp on him, but it's not working. This must be a special Goomba. Let's spawn an army of Goombas. Mario better watch out. This is a lot of Goombas. Let's see if they can defeat Dr. Eggman, because that's the closest thing we have to Mario. It's not looking like they have any chance of winning. Although this one is really good at running. Wait, how did he kill him from there? Yeah, Goomba is probably not the strongest Minecraft mob. Alright, I'm going to give Goomba an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating. And we got Red. For this one, I'm going to make the red rainbow friend. Let's remove his hair, and we'll shrink his body. Now let's make him a bit shorter, and we'll give him some arms. Next, let's color his body white, and we'll color his pants black. Now let's give him a head, and we'll color his head red. Next, let's make his head a bit round, and we'll give him some eyes, and let's color his pupils black. Now let's draw the shirt under his lab coat, and we'll add his tie. Now let's give him some hands, and finally we'll give him a couple shoes. And I think that looks good, let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with his legs. But other than that, I think he looks good. Oh god, why does it take so long for his legs to turn? Let's go to the nether. And here we have a red walking on some lava. Okay, seriously, what happened to his legs? It's like they're backwards or something. I mean, now they're on the right side, but somehow that made it worse. Okay, that's close enough. We're just gonna ignore that. Let's ride a red. Wait, this is the wrong fishing rod. Okay, this looks weird like it usually does. Let's see a baby red. Okay, baby red just has no legs. Let's spawn an army of reds. Okay, red army, follow me. Isn't this weird? Because red is supposed to tell me what to do. Alright, I'm going to give red an 8 out of 10. He looked pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Vindicator. What will we get? And we got Fighter. For this one, I think I'll make Goku. Let's color his body orange, and we'll color his head. Now let's give him a mouth, and some eyes. Next, let's add his nose, and we'll extend his hair out on the sides, and we'll do the same on the top. Now let's color the neck of his shirt blue, and we'll also add his belt. Now let's color his arms, and we'll draw the symbol on his chest. Next, let's add a bit more details to his arms, and finally we'll give him some shoes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, that is definitely not what we want. Like, seriously, how does this even happen? Okay, that looks a lot better. Well, I don't know about better. His face looks kind of weird. Let's see if Goku can catch Sandy. Dang, Sandy is really fast. Oh, he finally got her. I was about to give up. Let's spawn an army of Gokus, and now let's see if they can beat Dr. Eggman. Okay, Goku is way too powerful. Dr. Eggman had no chance. Alright, I'm going to give Goku a 7 out of 10. He could have looked better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Ender Dragon. Translate, and we got fire. For this one, I'm going to make Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, 
and will turn these spikes into his ears. Now let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. Next, let's color the sides of his wings orange, and we'll make these gray parts orange as well, and we'll make the black parts dark aqua. Now let's color his belly lighter orange, and we'll add his tail. Now let's color the bottom of his tail, and finally we'll add some fire to the end of his tail. Alright, I think that looks pretty good, let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good, although I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in block bench. Also, his neck looks different as well, that's so weird. Weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. Alright, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perching. Just imagine he is breathing fire right now. Alright, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is the Warden. Translating. And we got Seek. For this one, I think we have to make Seek from Roblox Doors. Let's remove all this stuff, and we'll make his body smaller. Now let's also shrink his legs, and we'll make his arms smaller as well. Now let's shrink his head, and we'll color him fully black. Now let's draw his eye, and we'll expand his face out on the side a little bit. Finally, let's add some red spots on his body, and we'll put a few on his legs. Alright, that looks good, let's see it in game. We'll just act like I didn't forget to texture the bottom of the head. Honestly, I think this looks pretty good. I think his proportions are kind of off though. Yo, why is he attacking the sheep? What did the sheep do? Let's find Seek in the deep dark. And of course, we'll watch him emerge from the ground. Oh, he's kind of stuck in a block. This would be way more terrifying than the warden. Imagine you're walking around in a cave and then you see this thing chasing you. Let's spawn an army of Seeks. And let's see if they can defeat the Wither. Oh no, they're already surrounding the Wither. Oh my god, the Wither is getting launched. Yeah, the Wither literally has no chance. I don't think the Wither even killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Seek an 8 out of 10. He could have been better. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got penguin. For this one, I think I'm going to make one of the penguins of Madagascar. Let's remove his head and back legs. Now let's make his body bigger, and we'll color his body white. Now let's color his feet orange, and we'll extend his head out a bit. Now let's color his sides and back black, and we'll add a bit more detail on his head. Now let's give him some eyes, and we'll extend out his beak. Now let's color his beak orange, and we'll extend it out a bit more. Now let's give him some arms, and we'll color his arms black. And I think we're done, let's see him in game. Okay, he actually looks kinda good. For some reason his face seems really accurate. Although I don't think penguins live in the jungle, we should bring him somewhere colder. This is much better. Let's spawn an army of penguins. And of course we have to see a supercharged penguin. How are you on fire with all the snow around you? Honestly, you can barely even see the charge because of the snow. Let's blow up a penguin. Rip the bunny. I wonder if the penguins can beat a cat. Okay, the cat isn't even chasing them. This is stupid. Alright, I'm going to give the penguin an 8 out of 10. I think he doesn't look that bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate. And we got Sasquatch. For this one, I think I'll make Chewbacca. Let's color him fully brown, and we'll extend out the bottom of his face a bit. Now let's add his eyes, and we'll give him a nose, and we'll add his mouth underneath. Now let's add the strap across his chest, and we'll do the same on his back. Next, let's make some parts of his body darker brown, and we'll add some detail to his head. Alright, I think that looks good, let's see it in game. Alright, something about him looks kind of weird. I think his mouth looks more like a dog than anything. Although, I'm pretty sure Chewbacca is part dog or something, so I don't know. Let's spawn a baby Chewbacca. Okay, I don't really like his big head. Let's spawn an army of Chewbaccas. And let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, I don't think the Chewbaccas are fighting Seek. What about Chewbacca army versus Dr. Eggman? Dr. Eggman is getting destroyed. Dr. Eggman was no match for the Chewbacca army. Alright, I'm going to give Chewbacca an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a wolf. Translating. And we got orange. For this one, I think I'm going to make the orange rainbow friend. Let's change the shape of his tail. And we'll also make his body smaller. Now let's color him orange. And we'll rotate his body. Next, let's make his legs smaller. And we'll finish his tail. Now let's give him some arms. And let's make his mouth look like it's open. Next, we'll color the inside of his mouth. And we'll give him some teeth. Okay, these are way too big. That looks better. Now let's give him some eyes. And finally, we'll give him some fingers and toes. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see it in game. Okay, I'm not sure if you guys see the problem here. That should be good enough. Okay, his head definitely does not work though. I guess wolves bend their head a lot. Let's spawn a baby orange. It's the same thing with a bigger head. Let's try to tame orange. Yeah, this is perfectly normal. Nothing is wrong here. Now he just has a big red square and his tail is broken. Let's spawn an army of oranges. And let's see them take down a skeleton. Okay, the skeleton got eaten in like two seconds. Come on, orange. Take down the warden. 
Oh no, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to give Orange a 6 out of 10. He was kinda cursed. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pillager. What will we get? And we got Cookie. For this one, I'm going to make Cookie Monster. Let's make his arms bigger, and we'll also make his legs bigger. Now let's extend out his body, and we'll color him fully blue. Now let's make his head a bit bigger, and we'll make his mouth look like it's open. Now let's color the back of his mouth black, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him some feet, and finally we'll give him some fingers. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see him in game. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. He needs to put down the bow though. I wonder if I can give him a cookie to make him stop. It doesn't look like he's interested in my cookies. What if we give him a Sandy instead? Okay, Cookie Monster's aim is really bad. Come on, Cookie Monster, you can do it. Okay, that was a nice shot. Dang, never mind. Cookie Monster, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Let's spawn an army of Cookie Monsters. Now let's see if they can beat Seek. Okay, nobody wants to fight Seek. Let's see if they can beat Orange. Okay, Orange didn't even have a chance. At least he killed one of them. Alright, I'm going to give Cookie Monster a 7 out of 10. He was kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is an Enderman. Translate. And we got Tree. For this one, I think I'll make Groot. Let's make his body a bit bigger, and we'll do the same for his arms, and his legs. Now let's color his body brown, and we'll change the shape of his head. Now let's color his head as well, and we'll give him some eyes. Now let's give him a mouth, and we'll add the branches to his head. Now let's add the branches on his shoulder, and we'll give his body some green details. And I think we're done, let's see this in game. Okay, this is one of the worst mobs I've made yet. He just literally has no detail. Okay, he's stealing the grass block. Wait, where is he going? Let's go find Groot in the end. Okay, there's way too many Groots in here. I wonder what he looks like when he's angry. Okay, it's just the usual floating head. Let's get chased by an army of Groots. I gotta heal to full health first. Okay, how are they already hitting me? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Groot army, relax, I'm sorry. Charizard, please help me. Okay, they caught me. Alright, I'm going to give Groot a 4 out of 10. He doesn't look that good in Minecraft. And that's the last mob. Please subscribe. I don't have an outro.